first day of school is full of expectation, and not just for Oak Hill, for all Indiana schools. The Oak Hill United School Corporation has over 1,500 students in the district. Superintendent Joel Martin hopes to keep that number, though local populations are shrinking. Well, we actually, for uh, quite a few years, we're on a downward trend for enrollment. Uh, slight downward trend, but uh, actually we've been very fortunate the last few years to uh, win that battle, so to speak, and we've been able to maintain and even grow a little bit. Uh, some of that's come through non-resident student enrollment, which has been uh, very, uh, very much a plus for us. Uh, this year we'll have around 200 students that are non-residents, and uh, certainly that gives us an awful good shot at being at least even to last year's enrollment. That downward trend has hit Marion Community Schools the hardest. It's a well-known fact that Marion Schools have been losing students over the last three years. We lost 380 students two years ago, my first day on a job in Marion. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, and then last year we lost 200 students. We project that we'll lose 130. Now it could be much higher and that could be much lower. We're hoping it's in that neighborhood of 100, 130. The individual Marion schools are achieving some big gains despite the student loss. Francis Slocum Elementary had a 12% improvement, the biggest in the school system, adding to a long list of positives. But the good news is, across the district, we made tremendous strides in improving student achievement. Uh, our elementary schools, all four elementary schools, uh, um, were well above uh, academic probation rules. Of course, everybody wants to talk about Marion High School. Marion High School is, is now out of academic probation. Uh, state academic probation, the first time in six years. That's a, quite an accomplishment. Uh, Marion High School was looking at a state takeover and now have certainly even avoided state intervention. But it's a similar vision that's keeping Grant County Schools grounded during this time of gain and loss. Obviously we want to do the best job we can for each individual student here at in our residency area and when we get done with them after 12 or 13 years then we certainly want to produce uh, young people who are ready to be quality citizens and are ready for the workforce or the college, whatever their choice may be. All students can learn. All we need to do is get about the business of helping them learn. With books in hand, Grant County Schools are ready to kick off the year with a positive outlook, an attitude that is transforming local schools. But we wouldn't have, received, we wouldn't have got those test scores if we hadn't have changed some attitudes. We wouldn't have, we wouldn't have had that success if if we didn't have a more, uh, a, a larger critical mass, if you will, of students that were trying, working, and working hard to learn. I'm sure we have students arriving today that uh, bring a lot of excitement and energy into the buildings, and uh, we want to do our best to cultivate that and aim that in the direction of academic progress. Different schools, different news, all pushing towards a greater education. For Crossroads, I'm Stephanie McCracken.